9-11 happened, I tried to get back in the military, but it was very difficult. But in 2004, a U.S. Army recruiter told me that he would be able to get me in, and he uh, got me enlisted, and I en ended up down in Fort Benning, Georgia. And then uh, right after airborne school, I went ahead and joined my unit, and um, immediately had received my orders to deploy to Iraq. In February 2006, I was uh, on a mission going towards Fallujah on the MSR road that we were on, and uh, coming up to uh, what was called the 611 bridge. Uh, we got hit by a roadside bomb to the side of the Humvee that I was in and blew the door into my left arm and uh, my left, well, pretty much my left side and damaged my left arm and my left leg. And while at Fort Irwin, California, my injuries kept progressing. So they sent me to the warrior transition unit with other injured soldiers and I had undergone uh, four more surgical procedures on my, on my leg. That's when the Army decided to go ahead and give me not just a medical discharge, but I got a medical retirement. And I went through four more years of surgical procedures to save the left leg. September 2013 is when the VA surgeon decided there was nothing more they can do for my leg. And I had a choice to either continue with what I had until it failed or go ahead with an above knee amputation. After I had the amputation, I was at the Ann Arbor uh, amputee clinic and I was looking at all the other veterans that are amputees over there and there was about 25 veterans total. But many of those uh, other veterans had been there for three, four, five months already. And that was something that I refused to do. And being that I had four kids and, and a wife, there was no way I was gonna sit there all week long every week for months at a time and have my kids wonder where I'm at. Since my amputation, my life has actually gotten better. I fight harder, uh, I work harder, you know, and I have a better outlook on life just because of being able to overcome what I've been able to overcome. And I always have the mentality of pain only lasts temporarily, um, happiness lasts forever. If being a veteran and going to, and doing what we did, um, if we have that determination to do what we did, we should have the determin the self determination to overcome any type of adversity that comes our way. I started powerlifting in February, and that first June, I won my first nationals. Went to my first world championships, placed sixth at my first world championships, won my second nationals the next June, and placed fourth in that world championships. And then on my third world championships, you know, I ended up placing first. And so it's, it's, it's not a matter of, you know, a, a disability, it's a matter of mind. Um, and if you want to overcome something, you can. Even though I'm an above knee amputee, um, I don't use it as a crutch to keep myself from competing with regular people. Um, and uh, I, don't, I don't use it as a, an excuse to not power lift. And I want my kids to see that, hey, it doesn't matter what injury, illness occurs, you can still compete with the best on any level. Yes, I'm an above knee amputee. However, having a disability just means, you know, it's just a little bit harder than, you know, than, than the average Joe. So it doesn't, it's not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. It's not going to stop me from accomplishing what I want to accomplish in life.